What is up everyone? Hey me Phoenix, how are you getting on? Welcome to the test, which is basically a glorified personality test from what I can gather, but with some interesting twists. This game is available on Steam, if you can call it a game, and apparently there's three versions of it already. So, this was a suggestion from one of my viewers. Thank you very much, you know who you are. But let's just start and we'll see what happens. I have no idea what this is going to be like. I think we're just going to be asked a bunch of questions. But maybe you guys learned something about me, huh? Now, in order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire experience. You will be asked a series of questions and you must answer them honestly. Now, when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with the truth, even if that's hard to face. We all want to be good people. We really want to admit our faults, grievance, or mistakes. Grievances. I don't know what. But you must decide what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Do you want the truth about yourself, your destiny in this world? Or would you rather live a lie just to hide from yourself? The process is very simple in theory. Just answer a long series of questions. What's difficult is self-analyzing your own psyche to evaluate the truths in your own mind and life so that you can predict your future. You see, as long as you are honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. This will tell you things you already know, but don't necessarily know that you know. Okay. Sure. As long as the answers you provide to the questions asked are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. Alright, we'll see about that. This isn't psychic, this isn't a personality test, this is simply nature. This is you, this is your own mind, this is simply nature taking its course. This is a human brain at work, unlocking hidden truths within itself. While attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on the circumstances. Create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand nor realize it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. I invite you to grab a drink of water, I already have that, sit back and relax, and enjoy the experience. And talk. <laughs> We're about to begin with a series of questions, and provided that you're willing that you're a willing participant, we'll be unlocking some substance substantial information today. Here we go. It's gonna be a lot of reading. Would you be alright with living alone forever? Living alone for No. That sounds horrible. Do you like the color blue more than the color black? Yes. Blue is my favorite color, in fact. Hence, uh, the background. <laughs> if you found money on the street and knew who it belonged to, would you give it back to them? Yes. If I, if I knew who it belonged to, yes. If I didn't, then I would keep it. Are you sure you want the answers you seek? No. I guess not. Because I don't know what the answers might be. Are you afraid of spiders? Yes. <laughs> I am. If you knew you would emerge unsatched, sketched, would you jump into molten lava? Uh... I guess? Why not? I mean, if nothing's gonna happen. Would you consider yourself to be fat? No. <laughs> I'm the opposite of that, really. Would you say that you have lots of charisma? Yeah, I think so, yeah. If you ever wish you could be temporarily frozen? No. This is all very interesting, okay. Did you realize that the last letter of the previous five questions were put together spelled the name Satan? <laughs> no. <laughs> Does that make you uncomfortable? Uh... A little bit, maybe? Are you good at finding hidden puzzles or clues? No. No. Are you now wondering what other hidden messages are placed within these questions? Yes. Have you been entirely honest with your answers thus far? Yeah, I think so. Are you afraid of the consequences for answering questions dishonestly? No. Were you aware that there could be potential consequences for answering this honestly? Yeah. Are you wondering how these questions began to take a strange turn? Kinda. Would you consider yourself captivated? 
Uh, yeah, I guess, a little bit. Very interesting. Would you consider yourself to be brave? Ooh. Yeah, that does really depend on the situation, because in some things I, I'm very brave. And, like, if it's like adventurous things, I'm all up for it, you know? Even though I might find it scary, I, I'll still do it, usually. Uh, but in very simple day-to-day -day things, I'm sometimes not very brave. So, I don't know. Would I consider myself to be brave in general? Yeah, I, th I think so, yeah. In general, yes. I would say yes. Do you feel yourself as someone with above average intelligence? Uh, maybe a bit. Have you been looking for hidden messages in these questions? No. <laughs> Are you wondering which hidden message you've missed? Yes. Have you begun to wonder how long this test will take? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be a patient person? Yeah, I'm, I'm often told that I'm actually very patient. Do most humans annoy you? No, not really. Some. You prefer animals to people. Uh, sometimes, yes. Sometimes, no. I guess the first thing that came to mind was yes, so I guess we'll go with that. <laughs> Do you believe in magic? Not in the traditional sense, no. Do you believe in God or the existence of some form of higher power? I've always find that a difficult question, honestly. Not that I don't want to answer it, I just... I, I don't know, really. You know, I'm... I guess you could say I'm, like, agnostic, maybe? But... Sometimes I do feel like there's some sort of... Higher power, whatever you want to call it. Not God in the sense that, like, the Bible says, but... I get, I guess... Yes. Do you fear death? Yes, actually. Sometimes, I do. Are you attracted to someone whom you're not currently in a relationship with? No. Did you answer that last question? Yes. <laughs> I'm not in a relationship. Are you alone? Yes. Are you sure? This is not a horror game, is it? Yes. If I told you with utmost certainty that there's someone watching you, would you believe me? No. Well, actually, technically, yes, because, well, you guys are watching me, but that's not life. So, right now, no. Have you wondered who I am? I actually have not. <laughs> have you had shivers at any point during this session? No. You feel like you're being watched. <laughs> no. You consider quitting this session early? Not really. It's interesting. Do you drink water every day? Yes. Do you eat at least once per day every day? Yes. Do you realize that you've missed sev seven hidden messages thus far? No. I haven't seen one of them. Do you realize that you just missed another one? <laughs> I, th I feel like you're just making this up. You're wondering what they were. Yes. Would it bother you to never know without finding them yourself? No. Is your favorite number seven? Actually, <laughs> now that you say that, I've never really thought about my favorite number, but seven... I don't know, seven is cool. I guess yes. Life is short, but it's the longest thing we'll ever do. Do you agree? Yeah, I... Technically speaking, origins cannot be compared to apples. Uh, well, they can because they're both fruit, right? <laughs> Venus, it, Venus, Venus, Venus is sometimes referred to as the morning star. Uh, no, I never knew that. Everyone deserves a second chance. Yeah, I'm all about second chances, really. You can do, you can do anything you put your mind to. Do you agree? Yes, I, I think. That is the case, although it might take sometimes patience and hard work. Obedience is more important than freedom. No. Underwater adventures sound like a fun time. Yeah, I guess so. Did you realize that the first letter of the previous eight questions spelled the phrase, I love you? No. 
Do you wish to be loved? Who doesn't, really? Do you have any addictions? No. Do you dislike the color pink? I guess so, yeah. In most cases, I don't really like the color pink. Does the color gray seem depressing? Yeah, maybe a bit. Do you enjoy loud music? Well, depends what you define as loud. I wouldn't say so. Do you like to dance? Not really. I'm not really a dancer. Would you consider yourself normal? No. I, I don't think I'm completely normal in the sense of... Well, does normal even exist, really? Do you love your parents? Ah, this is a hard question for me to answer because I don't really know my father. So, I can't really say yes to that, but I love my mom, so I guess so in that sense. Have you ever been lied to? Probably, yeah. Do you get angry often? Not really. Do you hold grudges? Not really. Have you ever forgiven someone? Yeah, I, yeah. Have you ever lied? Uh, probably, yeah. <laughs> Especially when I was a kid. Do you think flowers are more beautiful than trees? Uh... No, I think I know more beautiful trees than flowers, really, personally. Have you ever wanted to be an animal instead of a person? Have I ever wanted to be an animal instead of a person? Yeah, actually. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like animals have it easier. Some animals, at least. Do you believe you have psychic powers? Not really. Have you ever seen a ghost? Uh... Not in the traditional sense. Do you dream often? Yeah. A lot, in fact. Do you have nightmares often? Yeah. Do you suffer from anxiety attacks? Yes, sadly. Do you suffer from depression? Right now? No. In the past? Yes. Do you exercise often, stay after? No. <laughs> Would you consider yourself emotionally wounded? Yeah. Have you ever felt betrayed? I think so. Do you ever feel lost in life? Yeah. Would you consider yourself a natural leader? Not a no, not a natural leader. If you could push a button and destroy the world, would you press it? No. Why? Like, destroy all humans, there's something to say for that, but... Uh, destroy all life and destroy the whole world? No. Don't see a real reason for that. Do you sometimes dream of being a hero? <laughs> Who doesn't, right? Have you ever been bullied? Yeah. Not as bad as some, but a little. Have you ever bullied someone else? Mm. I think so. When I was quite young, uh, there was a period where I kind of, well, it wasn't really bullying in that sense, but I don't think the person liked it. So, yeah. Would you consider yourself to be a dreamer? Yeah. Do you sometimes hurt people's feelings unintentionally? Maybe. Maybe. Do you find space fascinating? Yeah, actually. Very fascinating. Will you consider yourself to be an artist? No. Not really. Will you consider yourself to be a good friend? Yes. And no. Depends on the situation. Will you consider yourself to be flawed? Yeah. Do you believe in perfection? Yes, actually. Have you ever stolen from someone? I don't believe so, no. Would you ever kill someone under any circumstances? <laughs> under any circumstances? Like, maybe? It depends on the circumstances, I guess. But like, yeah, if the worst person ever in the world was standing in front of me and just did something terrible, then... Maybe I could. I feel like everyone could at, in certain circumstances, you know? If you had one day to live, would you tell anyone? Yes. 
Ever, have you ever told your darkest secrets to someone? No, I guess. I don't. Do you trust me even though you know nothing about me? No. Do you know who I am? No. If it, I appear behind you right now, would you scream? Uh, yes, probably. Have I told you that I've been behind you this entire time? Would that scare you? No, because that's not true. Also, I can literally see behind me because of the camera. Would you consider yourself to be empathetic? Empathetic. Empathetic. Is that how you say that word? I know what it means, but yes. Would you consider yourself to be romantic? Probably not. <laughs> Have you ever been in a physical fight? Yes. Are you prone to headaches or migraines? I guess so, yeah. Not migraines, but headaches, yes. Do you look at the ground when you walk? No. Uh, are you attracted to the opposite sex? Yes. Would you ever shave your head? Well, I have in the past, so I guess the answer is yes. Are you attracted to muscular bodies? Not really. Do you ever dance when no one is looking? S sometimes. Very, very rarely. Do you trust your best friend entirely? I don't know. I don't really have a best friend in that sense. Do you remember your childhood extremely well? Yeah, most parts of it. Would you rob a bank if you could get away with it? No. Do you ever dream about running from a killer? No, not that I know of. Do you ever dream about falling off a cliff? Uh, I have in the past. Do you ever dream about being naked in public? No. Do you enjoy scary movies or books? No. Scary games? Yeah, but movies? No. Do you enjoy comedic television shows or movies? Yes. Do you like being the center of attention? <laughs> uh, might be surprising, but not really. Like, this is very different than, like, being in the center of attention in a room. Do you feel like someone is always watching you? No. You asked that question before. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to go to space? Yeah. Have you ever had an out-of-body experience? Yeah. In a way, have you ever punched a nun? <laughs> no? <laughs> what a random question. Do you like dogs better than cats? A little. Do you prefer to read more than you prefer to watch movies? No. Are you still wondering why I asked you if you ever punched a nun? Yes. Do you get starstruck easily? I don't know what that word actually means. So, I don't... I can't... No? I don't know what it is. Do you hate going to big parties and social gatherings? Kinda. Is your favorite part of your birthday receiving presents? Yes. <laughs> Seriously though, have you ever punched a nun? Like really? Just bam. Right in the face. Nun punch. No. Do you laugh? Not really. It's just weirded out. You say, what the frick in your head? I uh, kinda. Are you now eager to some, somehow get the opportunity to punch a nun? No. If there's a hell, do you think you're going to it? No. Do you enjoy fantasy fiction games? Uh, yeah. Sometimes. Do you masturbate frequently? Okay, that's a, that's a random sudden question to ask. Frequently? Well, what defines frequently? Not like extremely often, no, but yeah, if frequently it's like once, more than once a year, then uh, I guess I'm guilty. You're wondering what constitutes frequently. Yes, actually. <laughs> You're more than slightly uncomfortable right now. A little bit. Is your mouth dry? Yeah. It's because I haven't drink. D drunk. Does profanity make you uncomfortable? Not really. Do you believe in legendary beasts such as the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot? Not really. Are you poor with money management? No. I'm good at money management. Do you enjoy solving mathematical puzzles? Mm, if they're not... I used to, not anymore. Do you speak more than one language fluently? Yes. Have you ever visited a country other than your own? Yes, a lot of them actually. Do you enjoy coffee? No. Do you believe in demons? Not really. Do you believe in angels? 
Oh, same thing. Are you afraid of sharks? Yeah, I guess. I never really thought about it. Do you prefer baths over showers? No. Does the smell of perfume or cologne give you headaches? Not headaches, but I don't really like it either. You see that shadow move in your room a few moments ago? There was no shadow. No. You ever hear your name being called, even when you know no one's calling it? Yeah! Yeah, actually. Do you things in your home often go missing and then reappear later? Not really. You ever heard footsteps around you when you're alone? No, luckily. You hear random knocking noises. I feel like I heard random noise. Do you often look at the same time on the clock every day? Yeah. Have you ever felt your feet being grabbed at night? No. God, no. Do you have any pets? Not anymore, sadly. Is your favorite color green? No. I like green, but it's not my favorite. Are you attracted to a family member? No. If you won the lottery, would you share the money with anyone? Yes, actually. I would give a lot to charity. I really would. Uh, if you could be the dictator of your own country, would you accept the role? <laughs> I just, my first, my, my mind first went to yes, because that's cool. Uh, when I think about it, probably not, but since my first answer was yes. You ever wonder what it would be like to be in prison? Uh, I have. Do you like fishing? Not really. Hunting? No. Do you like camping? No. Do you like guns? Well, I did always want to shoot a gun. Uh, so, yeah. I guess. i getting tired of answering these questions. Maybe a little bit. Would you consider yourself to be kinky? <laughs> Not really. Uh, eyes are the window to the soul. Do you agree? I mean, I guess, yeah. You always keep your promises. I try to. Would you ever completely trust someone who's lied to you? I guess no, but that's more because I don't completely trust anyone. Are you an only child? Yeah. Do you ever enjoy being drunk? No. Do you like tattoos? Yeah. Do you enjoy being high in any form? Don't know. Do you believe you have a soul? Do I have a soul? Yeah. Yeah? I think so. Did you cry this week? I did, actually, yesterday, when I was watching a video. Are you upset with someone right now? Uh... No. Is there someone you're not being completely honest with daily? No? Do you understand how this works yet? No. If you answer the question twice, your truths... If you answer the question twice, your truths may change. It's not just about answering the questions, it's about the time you spend answering them. The combination you answer them in. It's about many different variables you'd never guess. Do you understand? Yeah, I, I, I do. You're wondering if the end of the test is coming soon based on the previous question? Yes. If I were to tell you that this entire process was planted here for you, specifically you, to learn something about yourself and anyone else that bought us, using this is just a byproduct of its intention. Would you believe that? No. Are you afraid of being abandoned? Yeah, maybe. Are you afraid of dying alone? Well, I'm afraid of dying in general, so... Do you worry that one day you'll be unexpectedly murdered? No. I hope not. Are you always on guard waiting to find of an attack? Not really. Do you feel like I know you yet? Probably. <laughs> have you heard any strange noises? No. I think we have enough information about you. Whether you skipped questions, answered honestly, or dishon- Could I skip questions? Took loads of time, or answered quickly without reading or understanding properly, I've been able to tell. I'm calculating your results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you. Okay. Well, so is everyone watching this, probably. Based on what you've told me, this is what I can conclude. People would do really well to start taking you a bit more seriously and listening to you a lot more often. <laughs> well, that would be nice. <laughs> your intelligence is incredibly underrated, even by your own standards. Okay. If a zombie apocalypse were to occur, you'd be everyone's best friend because their relationship with you wouldn't be an option. It would simply be a necessity to survive. I don't know about that. You have so much to offer to this world and those around you, but you 
absolutely must take your talents and knowledge readily available. Make your talents. Okay. People are too afraid to ask you for your opinion oftentimes. Even when they do, they're afraid of your truths. Ooh. You're not like others, you're special. Not everyone's going to cut it in this lifetime, and that's an unfortunate fact. But you, now you on the other hand, are going to thrive no matter what happens. You've got what it takes to make any project, to take any project to the next level, whether it's working on your own as part of a team. I wonder if this is the same for everyone. <laughs> you're underrated, you're underappreciated, and you're often misunderstood. It's not fair, but life isn't fair and it never will be. Life will always be what you make, and you got some insane amounts of potential. Ultimately, it's still up to you what you do with it. I agree with that. That's a nice message. One thing I will say, however, is that you need to snap out of the false reality that you tend to live in sometimes. The world you've managed to escape to in your head, while much better than the world around you, is not going to get you anywhere in life. Well, yeah, those words are very true. <laughs> Uh, actions are what makes things happen. Actions will take you to the next level, not just sitting in your head all day long. Let this be the swift kick in the ass. You need to be projective and take things to the next level. Don't waste any more time. Just kick ass. Your secret word is order. Remember this word. This will come in handy. Order. Huh. Take a secret word that was signed to you at the end of your session and leave it in a comment for us. We will be selecting some of you based on your answers to be included in a future project we're currently working on. Don't be afraid. This is an opportunity for you to be part of history. This is a chance for you to be part of something greater. Be sure to note your secret word in your comments. If you don't wish to be part of an upcoming project, simply leave your secret word out of your comment and we will not select your name. We appreciate any and all comments you leave and always read them thoroughly. Thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. I know you've been I know they've been of some help to you, and if they aren't yet, it will all make sense very soon. Trust me on that. Well, actually, it did help me a little bit. Like, that was a nice little story at the end. A nice little message. And maybe I even learned more about myself. And maybe you guys learned something about me. That would be nice, right? Now there are two more versions of this game. Uh like a sequel. And such uh, which I might try out as well if you guys want to see it maybe in the future I'll do an actual personality test uh, but we'll see about that anyway this was you Phoenix I hope you enjoyed subscribe now for more to come until then be brave be kind and stay awesome